Hello, my name is King Monsieur and welcome to another video. And welcome to my first actual video of 2023. I've recently come back to YouTube after taking a two month break. I explain why in this video in the iCard right here. In today's video, I'm doing something that's been done by many other content creators in the past. Basically, you find a spinning wheel online, you enter in prompts, and it tells you what to build in Minecraft. Many other content creators usually do houses, but I've decided to amp up the difficulty and make a whole custom biome. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. The first thing we're going to start with is what is going to be the base biome. The reason why we're starting with the base biome is mainly for weather purposes and basically to give a good foundation for this custom biome. So let's see what biome we get. Okay, so we got a couple base biomes. Let's see which biome we get. We got... Okay, so a really basic biome, pretty much a blank slate to build on top of. Now we need to know what ground block we're building out of. Let's see what type of ground block we're using for this biome. So we got stone. Before I show you the finished product, I just realized that if the whole biome was completely stone i wouldn't be able to put any plants in so i am going to spin the wheel again please give me something that i can grow plants on hopefully that works so far this biome is very interesting okay next we need to start making trees first off starting with what type of leaves we're gonna use. Okay, so which type of leaves were we gonna use? Ah, the new mangrove. And of course, we do need a type of wood as well. We're gonna be using birch. These are what the trays look like so far. I actually think they look quite nice. Look at that. Now we're gonna see what other plants we should put in this biome. So we've got glowberries, vines, lichen, sweetberry bushes, mushrooms, and bamboo. Let's see what the wheel suggests. Glowberry. Well, the biome seems to be shaping up a little bit. One last question I'm gonna ask the, the wheel is what type of flowers should I use for this biome? Okay, so this is the biggest selection because there's like a lot of flowers in Minecraft. So I chose some basic ones like dandelion. It'd be interesting to see a weather of the rose. And I included the tall flowers because why not? But let's see what we get. We got a rose bush. Okay. Actually, I don't think the rose bushes are that bad. I mean, it would have been interesting if it chose the wither rose. Definitely would be a very interesting flower. The last question is whether or not I should add a pond. I say this is the last question. I mean, this is the last non-animal related question. Putting that out there. That's not the end of the video just yet. Okay. Should I add a pond? Okay, so I've added a little pond, just like the wheel said so. Now let's move on to what animals we're going to add to this biome because, you know, I mean, it doesn't have to have animals, but it is pretty empty without any. Let's go see what animals the wheel wants me to pick. Quick interjection, if you like this video so far, please leave a like and subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you know when I upload next. I also have other sites as well. I have Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, all of the sites. So if you want to check those out, feel free to do so. The links are in the description down below. Let's get back into the video. All right, so which two passive mobs are we choosing? So the first one, we've got the Axolotl. And 
Which one are we choosing next? Oh my goodness, we got a turtle. What neutral moms are we gonna be choosing? So we've got the panda. And now let's see the second mob. Oh, I, I guess we're just having bears in this biome, I guess. I just finished the biome. I added the mob. And look at this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful. It actually didn't turn out so bad, but I'd love to see it with shaders. Ooh. I mean, with shaders, it's always going to look slightly better. But it looks very, very nice. And panda bears and the polar bears. But anyways, thank you all for watching this video and I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I do. Before this video ends, in the next couple of days I'm going to be releasing a new series that I'm so excited to show you all. It's something that I've been planning for quite a while and I hope you all enjoy that too. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Bye!